Zach walks home from school each day. Sketch a graph of Zach's distance from school as a function of time since the bell rang. If the following happens. So that we can see the distance is the y-axis, and there should be an E there for time. So, uh, first of all, we can see when the bell rings, Zach runs to his locker to grab his books. So when the bell rings, that would be the beginning. He's just going to run to his locker, so he's still at school. He didn't really change his distance right account. I'm going to put that in red. There we go. All right, so he goes to his locker, grabs his book, and starts walking home. So his distance from the school, he's walking, so it's kind of a slow rate. Not very steep line right here. But when he's about halfway home, so we got to get him halfway there, you little Zachary. When he's halfway home, he realizes that he forgot his book, so he turns around and runs back to school. So this line should be steeper going back to school. Uh, no, he went back to school. Well, yeah, so we go in the opposite way. That's what, I, that's what I've shown right there. He realizes he forgot his book, so he turns around, runs back to school, retrieves his math books. So I'm going to give him a little line right there, so give him some time in his locker. After retrieving his math books, he realizes that he's going to be late, so he sprints home. So this way, he's, he's going to have to go fast homeward. And it should be double the distance on a D's. And right here, now he's home. Now we could label this as well. This first part, he's at his locker. Then he walks. Then he's going to run. And then this last line right here has a nice sprint. There we go. A concert for a pop rock group is sold out. The arena holds 8,000 peoples. Yeah, you know, like the stuff you put in your mouth and it goes pop. The rock group is scheduled to take the stage at 8 p.m. A band is not very well known as opening for the rock band at 6.30. The rock band is scheduled to play for two hours and the staff working the concert have been told that the arena must be cleared of people by 11.30 p.m. Sketch graph the number of people in the arena from 5 to midnight. Time zero is 5 p.m. So we can relabel this if we need to. This is 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and so forth. All right, so we got these labels just so we can see those a little bit better in Tim. And then uh, the y axis is the number of peoples. And there's a few values we need to be aware of. The actual group is going to take stage at 8 p.m., so that's important to notice. And we would expect, because they're so popular, to have the stadium or whatever the heck it is filled by that time. So we should expect there to be 8,000 people by that time. A band that is not very well known is opening, though, at 6.30. So at 6.30, right about right here, um, yeah, if you wanted it halfway, you'd say that. Some people would say, well, it's, they're not as popular, so maybe 3,000. So, well, they don't tell you. And they didn't tell us. Yeah. They didn't tell us. I mean, like, right. only two dedicated fans. Yeah, so only the 3,000 dedicated fans showed up. <laughs> you know, so, and this is all variable, so. But sometimes the concerts don't tell you. Yeah, or, oh, do they? That's nice of them. Yeah, there is a G Easy concert, but I went anyway because I figured out, like, a few days before. All right, no stealing, all right? So, uh, is that what you're saying? I don't know. What G Easy? No, like, they don't, they don't tell you. All right, well, let's say that these people knew, so, um, you know, got a lot, not a ton of people. It's certainly not full to capacity because they're not as well-known, and people hate not as well-known bands. So, uh, you know, we're going to say maybe 3,000, but if you said 4,000, that's fine, maybe even 5,000. But if you said it was full at that time, you're going to get points off. The rock band is scheduled to play for two hours, so for two hours from 8 to 10, we would expect the stadium to be full up in count, up till 10 p.m., Around account. And the staff working the concert have been told that the arena must be clear to people by 11.30. Bam. So by this time, so it's got to be empties. Otherwise, they'll be fired. Sketch a graph. Then, so we got to look at the graph of this. So from 5 p.m., you know, sometimes you got those people 
it is one of those old people concerts, right? Like the rock bands. Like those, that one. So, um, there's like Wendover. a doo-wop. Wait, yeah, like the Wendover stuff, yeah. Wait, what if so you got a bunch of the old geezers that come early, and they're like, man, I'm going to listen to this new rock band that I really love. And then they take out their teeth and throw it at everybody. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Pretty much. Yeah. So maybe that, that increased slowly over time. Maybe what you'd want is to say, like the old people, they're going to eat it at 4 p.m. So they got a lot of time to sit there in the stadium and they get to wait for people. Some people would say, look, not many people are going to come. It's going to come up like these. So that band starts playing. And the old people are jumping and uh, doing the Watusi. And they're jumping around, right? Raising the roof, good old folks. And then maybe this goes up. We'd expect all 8,000 of those people, by the way, to get there probably before the big band starts. So maybe something like these, okay? Some people would say, well, this is going to increase rapidly. And then like these... Old people like to listen to their music, too. Well, after the band's done playing, this is going to drop off pretty hard because they're going to be kicking people out. Of course, you have all the groupies that want to stay in there. Um, they have to get out. Yep, so they got to drag them out. So that's the last few people right there at the end. <laughs> and this would be a knife ref, so from there till 1 p.m., we'll just drag this out. That should be at 1 a.m., thank you. <laughs> It should be dragged out from there. Yeah, of course, you do have the people in there, but that's pretty close to zero there. So. I'm pretty sure it's going to work huge All right, so your science teacher has the beaker shown below. He is going to fill them with water from a faucet that runs at a constant rate. Your job is to sketch a graph of the height of the water in each of the beakers over time. So this one is just going to fill up gradually as we go. And so we would expect some kind of straight line right here. Uh, well, we can maybe do a better line than these, something like these. This is fun. This Bam. is not fun. Alright, this beaker, if it fills, it's going to start, it's going to fill up faster and faster as it goes up and then it'll have a constant rate of change right here. So it's going to go up fast, fast. Right here, yeah, something like a these. And then once it hits that point, it should have a constant rate. So I've emphasized that a little bit to show that constant rate right there but and the change. Yeah, once it hits the neck of that beaker, <coughs> it should have a straight line right there. All right, well, what about this one? This one is getting wider as we go upwards. So as this thing fills, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be filling slower, slower until it gets all the way to the top. So we should, it's starting out faster and then it's getting slower like these. Or something like that. So we can see right here, it's starting by getting wider until it hits this midway point. So it's starting to fill up slower, slower, then it starts getting faster, faster, and then constant rate of change right here. So we've got to show that it's getting slower, slower. Then it hits that widest part of the cycle. Then it gets faster, faster. And then it hits that neck for a constant rate of change. Number five, right account. Since it's getting wide as it fills, then it should get slower, slower. So uh, constantly slower, slower. Uh, this. It's called an ice cream cone. Well, there would be a base right there. Right? Fast can you All right, so this one is getting slower, slower. That looks like one of those ice cream parts. Now, if we compare that to the other one, the other one was wider like this that we had. So if that were the case, it would have to be a lot faster. The other one would have appeared something below it like this. Ben and his family took a road trip to visit their cousins. The graph below shows their journey. Label the key features of the graph. All right, so looking at this graph, we can see that they're traveling at some kind of constant rate because we've got a straight line. But then there's a stop right here. And then this line right here from 6 to 9, that one's not as steep as the one from 0 to 5. 
So they were going slower for some purpose. Traffic. And then the line changes direction and starts to go pretty steep and then it flattens out right here. So we got to tell the story of it these. All right, so the, van, the family drove at a constant rate for five hours from a Shalagat. Then they all stopped for breakfast for one hour. Then they fled further, but slower, for three hours to Vegas. Then what happened? <laughs> All right. Now, does this indicate that they turned around? No, they sped up. No, it means that they went past Vegas. They passed Vegas. So we're going to indicate that they passed Vegas. Distance from sleds. Vegas fastly. They went Buffalo Bills. No, because the child that was hiding and waiting. For what was it? Four hours? One, two, three hours. For three hours. Then they were eaten. Is that what I heard? Yeah. Yeah. Eaten. Have you seen Spider Man the new one? Yes. Smile. There we go. That is a great story. Excellent work. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Jorge is the team captain of his soccer team. He would like to order shirts for the team and is looking how much it will cost. He called Custom Tees to ask about pricing, and the manager said in the following graph the jerk. Tell the story of the graph. All right, so what we have right here is this first line, which shows that if you purchase 0 to 10 shirts, it's just going to cost 16 bucks. Now, right here, this circle is open, same with this one, which you should remember from graphing any qualities from 7th grade, but no one ever does. That means that those values are not included, meaning if you bought 11 to 19 shirts, it would cost... It appears $14. And then once you hit that, I'm sorry, that was uh, 11 to 29. So from 30 to 50 shirts, it's going to cost this um, 10 bucks. And as soon, as soon as you get past the 50 shirts, so 51 shirts to 99 shirts, it will cost the 8 bucks. So we're going to have to write all that in. So there's our story right there more direct than anything don't really need a lot of details like the weather and how emotional it was all right a boat is anchored near a dock the graph shows the distance from the bottom of the boat to the seafloor for a period of time so what the heck is going on with this graph well remember the boat is just sitting there so as the water moves up and down, it's just sitting there. So it's also moving up and down. See, it's not straight, so they're sped up. Yeah. Well, hold on. The graph below shows the amount of gas remaining in a vehicle over time. So the amount of gas is the Y, and the number of hours is the X. Tell the story of the graph. Now, this, is, this does not show distance. This is not showing distance, just how much gas is in the tank. So we need to specify at the east. So they use up the gas, fill her up, then it, then it stopped and parked the truck. Then they used up all the gas. There we go. That's a Nobel Peace Prize one story. Story. It's a Blackberry story of award-winning story right there.